Coming to you from our GIS studios, I am Anicia Antoine and this is your Media News Brief. The government of St. Lucia has officially launched the Canals Resort development in China. The real estate investment project is being undertaken by Caribbean Galaxy Real Estate Limited. Minister for Commerce, Industry, Investment, Enterprise Development and Consumer Affairs, Honorable Bradley Felix, described the meeting as a productive one. The five-star hotels will form the main hub of the new luxury resort and residential community at the Canals Estate on the island's southeast coast. Together, the two hotels will comprise 330 rooms along with an adjacent real estate component with 380 residential units. The two hotels will include eateries, bars, conference centers, a spa, children's clubs and entertainment areas. The project, which was first announced in 2017, is slated to break ground later this year. In an effort to build the country's capacity to respond to natural disasters, the U.S. Ambassador to Barbados, the Eastern Caribbean and the OECS presented two satellite phones to the government of St. Lucia. Minister with Responsibility for Foreign Affairs, Honorable Sarah Flood Barbara, expressed gratitude to the U.S. government on behalf of the government and the people of St. Lucia. Ambassador Her Excellency Linda Tagliala-Teller informed that a drill will be done to ensure that the phones are able to transmit a good signal. The two satellite phones were distributed to the National Emergency Management Agency and the Office of the Prime Minister. Since 2007, the government of the Republic of China, Taiwan, has been working with the government of St. Lucia through the Constituency Development Program to improve the livelihoods of the St. Lucians by constructing, rehabilitating, and maintaining infrastructural facilities across all communities in the country. Under the program, projects like flood mitigation, drainage, soil stabilization, community access roads, and school facilities are all implemented bringing benefits to the people of St. Lucia. Recently, the government of the Republic of China, Taiwan, disbursed funds under the program for the second phase of 2018 and the first phase of 2019. Ambassador His Excellency Douglas Shen says since inception over 2,400 projects have been completed and 25,000 jobs created under the program. This year, the program will place more focus on projects that are centered on people development. This has been your Midday News Brief. Thank you for watching.